What's up guys? I'm Jerry with the Riding Training Group. We have Will here and Jason, as well as Chris from Faro Concepts. And uh, <laughs> Big boy, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I gave up, I'm just small today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the FCPC, which is a carrier that these guys have had, what has it been, three years, the V5 it's been out? Yeah, it's been about three years. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some features of it, some new things that are coming out, and uh, just what we like about it so far. Uh, Jason and I have had ours for a little while, run a few classes, but Will has had his for three years. Yeah, 29. And this is, your, this, one. this is your duty carrier, yep, right? This is so it. can you run the folks on YouTube kind of through how it's set up, just what you use it for? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this V5, uh, I was uh, given in 2019. It's been fantastic. Uh, prior to that, I was running the Slicksters modified, a little bit more load bearing for those. This is their system that kind of hosts more equipment for like the heavy load, I guess. Yeah, or uh, like an entry kit. Exactly, yeah. And a couple things have, have changed uh, over the years on mine, which the biggest thing that's been the one of the best improvements is this um, internal armor, the side armor right here. And the ADAPT system's already very stable, um, super rigid, it hosts everything you need without noticing that you have something supporting you, it's not restrictive. Once we added this side armor, it was extremely rigid. Like I have no, no play, my kit just is, is stable. And what it does on the inside, it creates a little bit of, a little bit of a void uh, between your back or your chest and the kit, and it lets more airflow, which is awesome. But yeah, I've been running the same one with some new products coming in and out, uh, changing things based on what we're doing uh, since 2019, and have loved it. I refuse. They've tried to send me updated bags, and I refuse because I, I don't want to change this one until I have to. It's really well so, made, and it's in the yeah. name, right? Adapt is it's adaptable, so you yeah. can scale it. And as you can see, all of ours look a little different. Than um, you can tell this way on the back panel too, like right. I change this out depending on what we're doing. And that makes it so. really, really uh, mission easy specific. To use. Yep. Mission specific. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, talk through the the newness of, of course, the soft armor, the radio patch you guys are working on. Just kind of tell us about your kit. Okay, so I have mine set up just to play around with our products, try it out, see how it fits. Uh, and like these guys have been saying, the scalability, being able to adapt it to the user. I mean, we all have it set up differently for for us, how we like it. I try to test different things to see how they feel before we get them to other people to, to test, run, and before we make it a, an end product. Um, so one of the biggest things that we do have coming out is the soft armor. This came from some good friends in the Flathead Valley SWAT team. They said they needed a soft armor to basically meet the front and rear bags per requirement. So we've been developing this and getting out to the end users to test for several months. Feedback has been extremely positive across the board. Yep. Everyone loves it. So it uh, should be coming out probably first quarter of 2023. And as well as our radio pouch. So I've got the Persistent Systems MP MPU5 radio in here and I'm just seeing how it fits, how it works with the soft armor and our salt cummerbund. Uh, the nice thing about the radio pouch is it's padded so you don't get the digging into your hip bone mm. or your or your stomach yeah, it's quite sure. it's really comfortable that's huge yeah so once it's once you get it set in place and it can be you know cable management and all that it's a fun time to deal with but once you get it set up it's it just hugs your body it takes a lot yeah. of the weight off the shoulders when you got it all set up that's one of the first things i noticed man yeah yeah, yeah. 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 um so jason has been doing this since i've been in diapers and um we wanted to get his perspective on this stuff because he's he started out in the era of like jumpsuits, gas masks, and MP5s, and now is has adapted, like the name of the system, right, all the way through to where we're at now with different types of armor. So run us through your thoughts on it based on all that time wearing armor, you know, your whole adult life. Yeah, I mean, uh, by far, I, I, I got to say that this one is uh, is one of the best. And the way Chris describes it with the um, with the cummerbund system and the ballistic armor on the side, it just it's it's lights out above the things that I've worn in my time. You know, having been in plate carriers from you know 1996 in the Marine Corps uh, up until you know 20 years in law enforcement, been in and out of a multitude of different ones, and um, not just saying it's because you're standing here, but when I put it on, um, you know, just I was you know doing some jumping jacks, push-ups and stuff, and just wearing it, and it really just hugs your body, and it does. It takes all the weight off your traps, which can be taxing, standing there with armor, uh, helmet, you know, the, the gun slung across your your torso. Um, and I, the system is just, it's, it's really cool. 
uh, the way you can move things around. I'm really digging, you know, this this roll one uh, med pouch on the back. It's an unused area right here in the back. So having this available and accessible with either your, you know, support or strong hand is just, it's, it's awesome. You know, you don't have to waste cummerbund space or yep. your belt space. You can put other things on your belt that you, that you may need uh, uh, to be handy. And I think Will runs his on the front. Uh, you or somebody yeah, runs on I the do. front. I run a roll one. So, because sometimes the belt's on me, but this particular carrier is not. So I, what I actually really love about that is it actually in and out of vehicles a lot. Uh, it's lumbar support for me and I don't want to lose that. So actually on my, my bison belt, I actually have it. I roll ones here and so it's, it's a fantastic support. Very adaptable, right? Carrier. Yep. Can you show YouTube that again, please? Yeah, on yeah, yeah. Well, here's, here's the one when I have the plate carrier on, there's my roll one up front to the one up front for me. And then I'm, when I'm not wearing that, I'm running a slickster. Uh, it's on the back, so I still maintain that lumbar support. Yeah, because I'm not always guaranteed wearing this one right off the bat. That's it's another good. thing you bring up. You know, you and I've been wearing these bison belts for uh, a couple of years now, and I am I am thoroughly impressed with it's. You know, it, yep. the way it's held up. Yeah. Um, it has a lot of adjustment in it. Uh, it, it it's been a really really cool design, and it's for a sure. workhorse, man. I mean, yeah, it, since it came out, I've had it on a uh, couple colors. Yeah, yeah they're great. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. I don't own one yet, but I really like what I've seen from them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to summarize what those guys talked about a little bit and point out some things. Mitch, if you want to come close, and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with it with breaching, okay? So a couple features that I really like. They have these uh, buckles, Cobra buckles. And, and they're swappable. Yes. So when you get an FCPC, they come unattached. Yeah, so Jason has on the other side, yep. right? I've got two. You I mean, will, will runs two. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people run two. Um, what I like about this is, like he just said, you can put it however you like it. Uh, this strap is adjustable. There's another smaller strap in here that's adjustable. And then there's the actual overlay of the strap. So you get a ton of adjustment. Um, you can put this on either side that you want. And then on the side, if you get real close here, Mitchell, you can see how this interfaces. And this is what I really want to harp on that I find the most impressive about the whole system. And uh, Will and Jason talked about it. See how the soft armor provides a support and a spacer off the plate so that allows airflow and it distributes weight. So yeah. this tucks in and then this connects together. So you're structurally speaking, you're distributing weight across the side of you and it keeps the carrier it's like from. A corset. It's like a corset, yeah. yeah. Um, Will wears those, I don't. So <laughs> that's the only way to go. Yeah. Um, so this rotation on this axis which comes from weight distribution depending on if you have breaching tools on different parts of your body the way that this armor is designed and how it interfaces with the adapt cummerbund it distributes the weight in such a way that you can't really get a lot of rotation so i'll show you guys and this is one of my favorite things about it the way that you can actually don the armor um, if you have it set up to just go on to you you can just slip it on right and it'll knock your hat off and then you simply clip it in place, right? And this, the clip in place here. And I like to run mine really tight. And then check out on the back, Mitch. You see how it breathes and moves with you? So you can see the Velcro on the back. As I move, there's that elasticity to it and it stretches. So what I'm gonna show you guys, when I put this shotgun on and it is empty, this is gonna be pulling across the carrier on one side, right? So the weight is on the right side, but it's not tugging down any because the because I'm fully it's supported. It's, like it's, it's, it's hugging you, yeah. right? Yeah. I can breathe, I can move, I haven't lost you know, rotation or any kind of flexibility problems. Um, I wore it for 10 and a half hours today, no issues. Uh, doesn't interfere with slings or anything else like that. Um, we'll talk more about breaching tools in other videos, but I just want to show you guys that the adaptability of the system is there for way more than just an entry kit. You can run all kinds of stuff on this. they got different back panels that support breaching tools, all kinds of stuff. So is there anything else anybody wants to cover? Yeah, well, just a great thing about it, you know, uh, it's been obviously it's been a great relationship with Pharaoh, but when guys come in in law enforcement, there's not always the opportunity to have a department just sign off and issue something right away. But they, there are some departments that are based that will allow you, if you want to spend your money first, they will allow you to run it as long as it's within certain parameters. And uh, this was one of the first ones our department ever had. So from that point, once this one came over and the rest of my team saw them, uh, they ended up purchasing their own. And now a vast majority of us run these 
without uh, a department paying for it because they see the initial value right out of the gate for us. What it does as a supporting tool, they see the value, they make the investment, and it betters them. And that's without an endorsement, that's without the department paying for it. It's, it just shows the value of the product. And to that point, uh, a lot of cops buy their own stuff because departments don't provide them necessarily what they might need. They buy them lowest common denominator and whatever else. Can you give guys watching any sort of indicator on possible price point for the soft armor? So soft armor is going to be around uh, just just over two hundred dollars MSRP. So that is kind of an incredible that. value, dude. Yeah, like you, yeah. whenever we were texting about that earlier, I was like, "There's no way," um, because that for an individual as a cop to be able to say, "Yeah, I got three A protection on my sides for two hundred bucks." is insane yeah that's both panels that's yeah, both that's panels yeah. yeah so you know i'm i'm protected 360 and you can see how high up it can it comes in the armpit and then down like my lung is actually protected um and, and there's there's a tremendous value in that so we love that about the company it's affordable for people to buy on their own um so anyway what you should do is go on pharaoh's website um they have a list of dealers uh, they also have direct point of sale there, correct? Yep. So you can buy it from them. You can also buy it from dealers. And what will happen sometimes, you know, they might sell out, but some dealers might have some stuff. And, of course, we would like to specifically mention Texas Loot, where we are powered by. Um, they provide us with whatever we need to make classes happen and things like that. And they are the newest dealer for Faro. So we're really proud of them for that. It's a big step um, to have this equipment there. Uh, all the stuff for the FCPC, the ADAPT system, um, all these goodies and they will be selling the soft arm so you'll be able to find everything you've seen in these videos there and currently they have some of it right because this stuff may not be released when the video comes out so all that to say check out texas-loot.com Mitchell will put it under here check out Pharaoh's Instagram stuffs and pews ransom tactical solutions uh, I don't know if you want to plug yours, but Faro Concepts, huh? Oh, yeah, Faro Concepts. Yeah, yeah, he's got a workout page, but he's real shy about it. Um, and then, of course, Orion Training Group. So we thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to check out all of that other stuff. Visit those websites. And, of course, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.